say hello to the all-new ROG Xbox Ally X. First up, eight Phillips screws stand between us and the inside. With the screws out, the back cover lifts away and after disconnecting the paddle button flex cable, I'm greeted to a very hefty looking battery front and center. Let's disconnect that battery before going any further to prevent any accidental damage to the console. Five more screws and the whole battery tray lifts away. It only takes one screw to remove the M.2 drive, a quick and easy removal. On the right hand side, I'm going to disconnect the ribbon and trigger cables, then remove three screws holding in the joystick module. These are potentiometer sticks, not hall effect, which is disappointing since pots have been shown to be very susceptible to drift. I've got one more screw and a bit of tape and once the cables are disconnected the fans come right out. It's always nice to see modular fans that aren't attached to the heatsink. Now it's time for the main board. I'll disconnect the display cable from both the board and screen side, then remove two screws from the bottom corners of the board. That fully releases the board which lifts up and slides out. Link to the full teardown in the comments.